Hi there, everyone. Jeff C. here. It is uh, Friday, January the 24th, and uh, we've talked about it on this show before a few times. Um, I actually have this, what is the Illuminati Game of Conspiracy. I've never played it, but I, I wanted to have it to really take a good look and analyze it. And um, one of the things, of course, that people who do start to look at the Illuminati cards, we'll see some very eerie sort of similarities between events that have happened of course uh, the most famous being 9-11 where you had in the Illuminati card set the images of the Twin Towers which really can't be mistaken for anything else here and the Pentagon uh, being attacked <laughs> so uh, you know after seeing that I mean we even talked about it with Boston the Green Jogger that uh, video got a ton of views and it wasn't really meant to be taken too seriously it was more like uh, hey you know just being speculative uh, this is kind of fun isn't it uh, to talk about this but this is the card that right now people are going on about um, and you know combined disasters is there going to be uh, some sort of major attack at the uh, Sochi Olympics and this card has been analyzed before and people thought in the past uh, this is the Waco Tower in Tokyo so I think back when something was going on in 2011 in Japan a lot of people were saying that this tower looks almost identical to the tower here um, but the thing now of course is the Sochi Tower which is right here and it it does indeed in fact i'll show you this one here um if this is the best i can get or i try to get the whole image on here um a lot of people when the london olympics happened were were showing this card saying that it looks a lot like big ben i don't think it looks anything like big ben really other than it has a clock in it but the tower certainly does look very very similar to the tower of sochi right and um, we would have to kind of be careful here and, and keep an eye out because this is actually the train station of uh, Sochi, downtown sort of thing. So this is where massive congregations would be happening. Um, so could this be a potential target, especially in light of the recent terror attacks that uh, have happened in uh, Russia? Um, the bombing at Vol Volgograd or whatever and the bus bombing that happened just recently as well I didn't really look into those too much because uh, we've got enough false flags here <laughs> in America but indeed this is the latest one so people are saying could it be could it be Sochi that this massive attack will happen and um, so I went and looked I'm trying to fi figure out when exactly the bids for the Winter Olympics and I think it's kind of important when you're you're doing this is to look when these bids were coming and then of course when the cards came out I believe the card set came out in the early 90s and the bid for the um, the 2014 um, the executive ballot took place on July 4th 2007 in Guatemala season or uh, sorry Guatemala City during the 119th IO C session and if you look at the results here you can see that uh, Pyeongchang which is in South Korea actually won the first round Salzburg came in third Sochi was in second and then in the second round Sochi actually won um, so it may not be all that important it's something to consider I mean it's 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 certainly possible that for a long time that um, they were perhaps planning some sort of attack uh, to occur perhaps even at Sochi who knows uh, the only thing is is then we have to ask ourselves are the Russians in on it could it possibly be their attack that is is used I mean it could possibly be that the Russians are making deals with the Western Alliance to kind of say well we're gonna have our terror terrorists and you're gonna have yours 
and uh, we won't say anything too bad about your terror things, although RT does seem to pick up on some of the false flags. They did a, a Truth Seeker segment on the Boston bombing, saying that they believe that the Boston bombing was a hoax, which indeed it was. So the Boston bombing, just to, to look back, um, the um, I'll just put it in here. The one that um, we had discussed that generated a ton of interest was the joggers card here. It's not the best image. I always try and find a better one, but uh, not always that clean or clear. Let's see here. Um, the jogger. Anyways, the idea being that the the woman who crossed the finish line right there, if you can make her out, um, tossed some sort of device it looked like right after the detonation here at the old guy who the only guy that was uh, who seemed to be <laughs> affected by the pyrotechnics blast because he actually fell over now if was it coordinated and do they actually use these cards like um, I've talked about Satanism before and Satan one of the thing about Satanism is that they have to kind of show you what they're going to do it gives them more power, it gives them more, um, you know, it allows them to do these things. It just, and they also like to put it in her face. So it's possible. I think it's possible. And I think then, you know, like as I said, a, a lot of these other events, uh, you know, once, once a few of these cards appear and people see stuff like this, then they start looking everywhere, right? So as I said with the uh, London, I didn't even cover this, but I remember this. They were saying, wow, that could be Big Ben. And, of course, you can't blame people for thinking so when they see that, right? I mean, they say, well, that's there. That happened. You can say even the Boston thing might have happened. Um, so then that's that's where my sort of conundrum comes because then is Russia part of this or is, you know, how is it engineered that Sochi was so um, – was seen so far – in advance as possibly hosting the Olympics. I mean, was it an obvious site for the Olympics? I don't think so. I mean, from what I know about Sochi, it's not a very populated area, and it's kind of far away from uh, a lot of, I mean, it's on the Black Sea, right? It's very close. So I don't know. I really don't know. Um, I just thought I should touch on it, and uh, I'd like to hear your opinions. Um, if I can show you one more time here, this is the card. And the writing on the card says, you may combine two disasters on the same place as long as both are eligible to be used on it. Play both the disaster cards as well. Um, pick one disaster to be the main one and follow all the instructions on the card. Add the power, but none of the other effects of the other disaster. That's just kind of the instructions for the game. But even the, in the instructions, you see, you know, as they said with the with the the jogger one, you know, that uh, uh, you know, just just the sort of powers that are, are unleashed by using it. So this is purely strictly uh, conspiracy stuff, and um, I would take it all that seriously. But of course, if something does happen at Sochi, and especially at that train station, well then we're going to know for sure um, that these guys aren't fucking around with us with these cards, and then people are going to go ape shit with these cards. And can you really blame them? I mean, when you see this, certainly made me buy the, uh, the box, <laughs> the card set. Anyways, leave your comments below. I wish you all the best.